Hey beautiful souls, thank you so much for being here and welcome. My name is Danielle. So today's pick a card reading, we're going to take a look at your person's feelings for you. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, there's a few of them linked at the top of the description box. You could also visit my website. I will be pulling channeled messages from your person today. I actually added a few more to my stack. I kind of like took some out, added new ones. I added angel numbers. I added bits of descriptions and even some timing cards for those of you that enjoy the timing cards all right so oh yeah astrology dice initial tiles all that good stuff towards the end of each group for our cards and crystals today for group one we have the modern witch tarot with this cinnabar every time i hear cinnabar i think of cinnabon Group two, you have the Mystic Monday Tarot with this, it's called Unicorn Toots from where I bought this, or Unicorn Fart <laughs> from where I bought this crystal, uh, but it looks like uh, obviously a dyed quartz. And group three, you have the Dog Tarot with the Strawberry Quartz. All right, so timestamps are listed in the middle of the description box as well as pinned in the comment section. And I will see you lovelies at your reading. Hey, group one, you chose the Mistake Monday, or sorry, wrong, <laughs> wrong deck. You chose the Modern Witch Tarot with the Cinnabar. Welcome. I'm so sorry, I apologize. All right. So let's take a look at how your person is feeling about you right now. How is group one's person feeling about group one? Two of cups. The star, we have Aquarius. Strength with Leo. We have Everything's Fine with the Ten of Swords. This deck actually has two different Ten of Swords. This one is obviously Everything's Fine. We have the Knight of Wands. King of Cups, the Devil with Capricorn, and the Magician, Virgo and Gemini. All right, let's see if I have enough space to move this up just a bit. I don't want to cut off the top of the cards if I, yeah, I think we're okay there. Of course, there's a glare. It is what it is. <laughs> All right. Okay, so as we can see right now, your person is going through a bit of a, a, a difficult time, a hard time. Um, they are trying to put on a brave face. They are trying to um, pretend like everything's fine. Um, I feel like they're not trying to dwell too much on what's happening but they can't help but to understand that they're experiencing what they're experiencing right now um when it comes to you they absolutely feel like this beautiful connection with you with the two of cups and they are hoping for a positive outcome i see that um they do feel very passionate towards lee uh, to, towards you as well passionately <laughs> and this person has a lot of um care and love for you i feel like this is the type of person that actually doesn't necessarily express their emotions i feel like they have a hard time specifically saying things like i love you um yeah so and especially when they're going through a hard time they tend to keep it to themselves so I want to see they're trying to remain hopeful though so if you are experiencing a bit of a challenge with your person maybe you've recently had an argument or um, you haven't seen them in a while I feel like 
this is saying it is affecting them but they're trying to remain hopeful with the star I feel like your person also has deeper feelings than they're willing to admit to you or themselves at this time. And this is why they're trying to play it off like everything is fine. I feel like there's a lot that hasn't been communicated that they're holding back from you. Try not to rush this. So, oops, this being like the Two of Cups, this could be a newer connection. And this person is falling hard for you. Just picking up the cards that I dropped on the ground. All right, so let's see. What is everything's fine about? Everything is fine. What is this about? The Fool. We have Aquarius coming through again. Okay, so some sort of new beginning, a new period, new phase. And this being like the Ten of Swords, this is like an ending, a painful ending. So it could be that the two of you have recently, for some of you, have gone your separate ways or maybe taking a bit of a break. And this person's pretending to not be bothered so much by it. But in reality, the Ten of Swords, this is uh, very painful for them. But they are hoping for something new. Again, still remaining hopeful. Clarify the devil. What's the devil here? Ace of Cups. Yeah, they're scared of their feelings for you. I feel like their feelings for you are a lot deeper than they're admitting. Wise Magician here. Seven of Swords. Yeah, they're lying. They're lying about their feelings. They don't want to lose control of the situation. I feel like they're wanting the upper hand. Like they don't want, again, falling harder than they're expecting. I feel like this may be unfamiliar to them. This type of experience. Why, why is the star here? Three ones. Yeah, they're hopeful for the future. Okay, how else are they feeling about my group ones? Ten of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. The Emperor, yeah, I'm like trying to remain in control here. We have Aries and the Five of Cups. Okay, so if they've recently shut you out, they have regrets about this. They have more regret than you know. They, have, they hurt more than you realize. This has been affecting them. Because they see that there is potential with this connection. Or they did see that there was potential with this connection. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Empress. We have Taurus and Venus. Or it is Venus ruled by Venus. We have Taurus and Libra. Yeah, they could they see a future with you. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? The Hierophant. Taurus. I feel like for some of you, um, traditional roles and relationships may be a factor in this connection or, you know, um, things like marriage or family. There could be 
a little bit of a challenge there. This could be the type of person that is put off by um, labels. So that could have been part of the challenge. Why is the Five of Cups here? Six of Wands. I feel like their pride got in the way. Yeah, they're hiding how they truly feel here. This bothers them more than you, more than you know. Because they actually feel quite strongly for you. I feel like you challenge this person. And that bothers them. Especially when it comes to certain traditions. Or belief systems. Um, specifically involving commitment, family. Again, something to do with the labels. So, yeah. All right. We have leadership. Self-love. Okay, so self-love is very important in this connection. On the bottom here, we have new beginning. So there is an opportunity for a new beginning for those of you that are maybe experiencing a little bit of a challenge with a separation or taking a break with this person, or you've had a breakup. Uh, I want to clarify leadership. Did have the, the emperor, which is about, you know, authority and control. Feel like this is your person wanting to have that upper hand or you know enjoying the feeling of having the upper hand king of swords yeah they do like to have a bit of power but i also feel like this feels like it's their responsibility here to have a conversation with you and clear the air. Like they need to take that action. They need to put their leadership role and you know, um, they may even be needing to lead by example when it comes to the situation. And be a little bit more mature. Clarify self-love. Three of Swords. Yeah, for those of you that are maybe um, hurting, going through a heartbreak right now, this is saying that there's an opportunity here, a chance for you to focus on self. This is not like, you know, move on and forget about your person. That's absolutely not what this is saying, unless that's something that you truly want. Um, but, you know, if you're if you're hurting, if you're grieving, take, take some time to... Allow yourself to feel whatever is coming up and, you know, nurture yourself, take care of yourself. All right, so let's get some message cards. I tried to shuffle all the new ones back in. It's still like a giant stack. <laughs> and I even removed some, so we'll see. See what comes through. Okay, what would they like to say to group one? Actually, let's just pull them out first and then flip them over. Or you know what? No, we're going to do a little, a little different here. We have, I haven't forgotten about you. Thank you for loving me. I want to be with you. We have Summer Fling. 
I deeply value trust and loyalty. I can't wait to see you. I see a future with you. Yeah, we were seeing that. So this may have started out as a summer fling. Maybe not looking for anything serious, not looking to settle down. And now they're wanting, wanting more. I'm not good for you. I'm still in a lot of pain. Sounds like they need a little self-love here. You bring out my softer side. Let's get three more. You have energetic cords. Yeah, they still feel connected to you. I see how kind you are to others. Yeah, they see you as very kind and loving. Okay. Do you have somebody else on your mind? So they're wondering if you're interested in somebody else. I feel like with you bring out my softer side, you do bring out a beautiful side to this person, a side that they don't usually express with other people. They haven't forgotten about you. And they always get excited to see you. Or they're excited to see you again. All right. Ooh. Okay, so we have, I feel like I have a hair somewhere on me and it's bothering me. <laughs> Fifth house. Leo, we have 10th house Capricorn. We have Libra. And we have Cancer. And you can't even see this. <laughs> Sorry. All right, there. <laughs> Not that it really helps unless you zoom in, but yeah, that's what we have. any of the newer cards came out here okay we have M Y R C I'm seeing the word cry R L a, see Mary. Lori, Lucy. N. O. Aaron. I. Z. Louise with S T Stan. I'm also seeing star or starry. We have S L and K Lois. Lou, seeing Mick, Mickey, Mark, Rick, Ricky. I'm also seeing the word lucky. Sally. I 
All right, I'm going to leave it there. So that is what I have for you, group one. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you guys all the best, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, group two, you chose the unicorn fart crystal with the Mystic Monday Tarot. Welcome. All right. I also noticed that your time is 2006, so 2006 may be a significant year. Let's see. How's your person feel about you right now? We have the Emperor. We have Aries. Ten of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Two of Wands. I have my little clamp here that's holding my phone in the way, so I can't really see exactly where this is positioned. Hopefully, you can still see the cards just fine. Because, like, I can see this, but I can't see, like, right here. It's blocked for me. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Five of Swords. Ooh, this person really gets in their head, don't they? And Princess of Pentacles. All right. Okay. They feel very indecisive. And they're a slow mover. Yeah, they definitely... This person, like, overanalyzes... They, they constantly, they overthink, and you may know this about them already, maybe you don't. Uh, we do see, I do see like significant single energy here, so they may have like ran from this connection. And I feel like for some of you, it may be driving you crazy because this person like can't seem to make up their mind. And I feel like you guys are intuitively sensing this, like you know. But at the same time, you also know that they're hiding something here. That they, you feel like something is coming. And I do feel that for you as well. Um, yeah, it kind of feels like they, when they say they're going to do something, it feels like it takes forever for them to actually make plans with you. That could also be part of the problem. But let's see, why is the Ten of Swords here? Seven of Cups. Yeah, this person's in their head. Like, I feel like your person has a, like, uh, imagines the worst when it comes to love and relationships, specifically about you. And I feel like they have fears. Like, again, like, this person tends to overthink uh, this connection with you. They overthink their feelings for you. They overthink, you know, how they're going to move forward, you know, what decisions to make. This person is just um, really in their head here. They're trying to gain control of that. Why is the emperor here, actually? Let's see. If I could, Ten of Cups. Kids could be involved. I'm getting like family can be involved. Maybe getting in their head. This could be part of the problem. Um, getting a specific message to that for some of you. The reason why plans change has to do with children. Or family. Yeah, I keep seeing kids. Clarify two of wands. Oh, geez, five of wands. Yeah, there's a lot of conflicts going on in this connection. Specifically with them, like internal conflicts. So it feels like this person kind of needs to get their priorities in check here. Clarify eight of swords. What is this fear? Fear and limiting beliefs. 
happiness. Okay, so we have self-sabotaging energy. They tend to overthink and wonder if they could actually truly be happy, especially in the midst of conflict and chaos. Clarify Five of Swords. Seven of Swords. I feel like there's like something else going on here, like other people involved that that's causing a lot. Um, a lot of conflicts and challenges within this connection. Or it could also be your person creating their own challenges and conflicts in their mind. You know how like the ego likes to lie to you and like make up these wild <laughs> scenarios. Um, especially when it comes to like fear and like again worst case scenario type situation I feel like that's your person clarify princess of pentacles what is this princess of pentacles six of pentacles okay yeah they know that they need to come forward with some sort of offer So this may even be a newer connection where the two of you haven't really um, committed to anything yet. Maybe you're just starting to get to know each other and this person is having a hard time when it comes to sticking to plans, making plans, making effort. Clarifying Knight of Pentacles, the lovers. Gemini okay so we do see that they do want this they do want um, love and connection with you but there's a lot a lot going on here they're, they're definitely dealing with a lot of conflicts and again like, I feel like it's not just them I feel like it's you too and I feel like both of you are getting frustrated here so they may even be scared that they're about to lose you because they can't seem to it feels like put in an equal effort okay clarify or what else how are they feeling right now about my group twos the hermit we have virgo judgment scorpio three of wands Ace of Cups. Yeah, it feels like they need to figure stuff out here. Especially when it comes to their stress and anxiety. Their worries about the future. Like If they want this, they need to do something. They're fully aware that, it's, that this whole thing is an issue. They're absolutely aware, and I feel like with Virgo, or with Virgo, <laughs> with the Hermit here, I feel like they're trying to figure figure out exactly, you know, how to resolve it, you know, why. Especially if this is a pattern of theirs, you're trying to figure out, you know, why does this keep coming up? Let's clarify. Why is the Hermit here? Six of Wands. With the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they're trying to figure out what to do to... Like, how exactly to approach this situation and have it turn out successfully. I feel like this person also is used to doing their own thing. So entering into a relationship may have been uh, a very significant amount of time since they've been in a relationship or even dated anyone. So they're having to navigate that all over again, you know, consider um, somebody else's feelings and somebody else's time as well, you know, factor in, you know, including you in the picture. All right, so let's get some Oracle cards. Oh. 
All right, what else? We have authenticity and lifestyle. All right, it feels like they need to live a more authentic life for themselves, like maybe need um, make some lifestyle changes. That could also be what is bringing upon stress and anxiety. It feels like they do have control over the situation. They just need to um, figure out how to break the cycle, break the pattern and get out of, especially when it comes to like if, like I said, if other people are involved um, causing a lot of stress and anxiety for this connection, um, there definitely needs to be some reflection on life choices here and really get clear on what it is they want, who they are and what they're offering. And I also feel with authenticity here, I feel like they need to stand up and, you know, express themselves more, especially when it comes to what they want um, with other people. I feel like they kind of allow conflict to take over, um, you know, allow other people's opinions to affect them on a deeper level. And I also feel like this is why some anxiety is coming up for your person, you know, why they get in their head, why they overthink, where it's like, okay, at, at some point, they're going to need to reevaluate everything and understand that they're not a victim. They do have a say and, you know, they have a choice. And basically just laying down and taking it and not standing up for themselves and expressing how they, they feel. They're, they have nobody to blame but themselves here. So, yeah, it feels like this person's got some... Um, some things to figure out especially if they want this uh future and this lover's card this connection with you because it takes two people can't just be you guys doing all the work and putting in all the effort All right, so let's see what they want to say to you. What do they want to say to my group twos? You are like sunshine. I moved on thinking we will never be together. Now I'm confused. I'm going to reach out. Addictions, that could be a lifestyle change they need to make. Maybe the people are involved. It could even be like addictions to, um, you know, thought patterns. They keep having the same thought patterns or, you know, um, they allow other people to choose for them or direct their life. They could even be addicted to blaming others for their situation. You know, blaming everybody else for the conflicts. We have, I love you unconditionally. Oh, there goes my stomach making funny noises. I get weak in the knees. I want to explore old abandoned buildings and haunted places with you. So two of you could be into some spooky stuff. I'm looking forward to seeing you. I can't stop thinking about you. Long distance relationship, that could be part of the problem. Hey, the, the conflict could even be distance. You know, making plans to actually get together and see each other. 
Uh, long distance could also be like feeling like you're at a distance from this person. I'm working on getting my life together. I wish you were mine. We have text message and phone call. So, yeah, they know they need to make some lifestyle changes, especially if um, there is a struggle with some sort of addicting or addictive habit. All right, we have 11th house, Aquarius. We have Pisces, Aquarius again, and 7th house, Libra. Okay, we have R... Oh, Roy, we have D, T, U, seeing like downtime or downtown, we have L, seeing loud, B, G, E, E, A, H, blank, that could be anything. We have an I and we have U. I'm seeing head, like this person needs to get out of their head. I'm seeing heavy, like the thoughts have been very heavy. Maybe the energy has been heavy. I'm seeing the word give and also gave. Earl, sing early, Vera, Ava, Eve, could have Evelyn, Ellen, Todd, getting like Heather, uh, what else, age, there could be a significant age gap, someone's last name could be Hardy, Ivy, Isla, Lisa, or Liz. All right, I'm going to leave it there. So uh, that is what I have for you, group two. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you guys all the best, and I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, group three, you chose... The dog tarot with the strawberry quartz. Welcome. I'm going to place this here. All right. Let's see how your person is feeling about you right now. We have the Emperor, Aries.
All right, am I going to confuse myself here? Let me just double check what that is. All right, yeah, it is what I thought. I thought it was the Ten of Swords, um, but then I was confused because I'm like, well, that doesn't look, you know, sad. But then again, we're looking at dogs here. So <laughs> the, the book said, you know, you're in a conundrum. You can carry your bone. Like, what do you do? Do you take the treats and drop your bone or do you pass up the treats? So... All right, it just looks like such a happy card, right? <laughs> we have the lovers. Oh, that's such a sweet card, Gemini. Right, we have the three of cups. We have the Empress. Ooh, we have the Emperor and the Empress together. It's the way it came out there. All right, we have Taurus and Libra. The Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius. <laughs> Puppy chasing, chasing his tail. It's cute. We have the Magician with Virgo and Gemini. And how they feel. And we have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Eight of Pentacles. With the King of Swords. Okay. So I feel like a conversation may have led to something very painful here. Um, something that has been said between the two of you. And I feel like your person has been reflecting on this and they want to make it up to you. Like they want to make things right with you. I feel like them hurting you also hurt them as well. Your person doesn't like to see you upset. It breaks their heart to see you sad. So if they have said something to you recently that hurt hurt you deeply, um, yeah, they want to make things right. And this is something that I feel like they've learned a lesson here through this experience of maybe how to approach um conversation differently how to approach you know challenges or situations with you differently or how to respond differently I feel like there is a lot of growth and potential here in this connection conversation is very big communication and conversation is very big with this connection especially um I feel like that is something that's very important to the both of you. It, it is important in any relationship, but I feel like the two of you feel very strongly um, about this. Like you are very special to your person. They see you as the one. They see you as their equal. And I feel like this is also why it hurt them very deeply to affect you this way. You have somebody that does respect you very much. And they want to invest more into this connection. So what else? How else are they feeling? 
Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to make things right with you. They want to fix, fix this. Oh, look at the puppy. <laughs> Sorry, they're just so cute. <laughs> All right, we have the Four of Swords. Yeah, they've thought a lot about um, what has happened here. They've had time to think. It's kind of like, you know, after an argument, you need that cooling down period, uh, especially, or, you know, uh, I feel like what is happening here, if that has been the case, if there's been a pattern or a cycle of maybe conversation or arguments getting a little heated and maybe they've acted out um, impulsively or irrationally in the past with things they've said, I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here, they understand that, you know, they need to break this cycle. They need to break this pattern. So instead of, you know, responding um in a heated manner instead they are deciding to communicate non-violently like they are choosing to maybe say things like you know what i can't effectively communicate with you right now i just need some time away with that four of swords here so i feel like your person is wanting to be more respectful and is learning to um, communicate more effectively and more maturely. We have the Ten of Cups. Oh. Yeah. They, they love you. This person loves you so deeply. And we have strength, Leo. Yeah, they're willing to grow. And they have... They have such strong feelings for you. This person loves you. I feel like unconditionally. And they're learning. They're growing. Because they want to be the best version of themselves for you, for this connection. All right, what else does group three need to know? We have mirror. Okay, so there could be mirroring going on. Or there is mirroring going on. And we have harmony. Yeah, they want more harmony in this connection. They want balance. Um, this reminds me of the temperance card. We have signs and synchronicity on the bottom. Could be receiving signs. They see you as their perfect mirror, their perfect match. You are someone who inspires them and challenges them to grow. This feels like a very beautiful connection. I mean, naturally, all connections, all relationships, whether platonic or romantic, have challenges. So, I feel like this is heading into a, a, a healthy direction. That is definitely their intention. All right, so let's see what they want to say to you. What would they like to say to group three? I want to start as friends and grow from there. We did have the three of cups. You may have started as friends. Foundation of friendship. You could be like their uh, 
well, considering they see you as their equal, I feel like they consider you to be a best friend. We have, I'm secretly in love with you. So if you're still in the friendship zone, if you haven't uh, made it into the romantic <laughs> zone and, and, you know, the met proceeded, you know, stepped over that, crossed that line from friends to lovers, I feel like it's heading in that direction. You have no idea how long I've wanted you. That could also be like, again, this person may also love you like starting out as friends. I keep seeing your name everywhere. So yeah, signs and synchronicities are receiving signs and synchronicities. We have twin flame. Could be your twin flame. I don't know what a healthy relationship looks like. You have video chat. There could be a lot of video chat going on in this connection. They want to video chat with you. What else? I'm sending my love. We have childhood sweethearts. You have my heart. Oh, that's cute. I keep everything inside. I know you're the one. And then we have no contact. So two of you may not be on speaking terms right now. And on the bottom here we have, I play it cool, but I'm actually a mess. Yeah, you, you have their heart. This person loves you. And they have wanted you forever. They have loved you for a very long time. They have felt these feelings for a long time. And they've kept them to themselves. Some of you, like I said, you may have moved past that stage from friends to lovers to partners. But again, you can be in a relationship and consider the person, your your spouse or your partner, to be your best friend. So I feel like there is a foundation of friendship between the two of you. And I feel like there there has been a, gr um, a lot of growth in this connection. I feel like on both ends as well. Like you've definitely had time to um, get to know each other. And this is also, again, why this affected this person so deeply, because they care so much about you and they don't want to do that to you again. They don't want to repeat that pattern. They want to break a cycle, especially if it has to do with communication, which no contact. This could even be the person like maybe they don't say anything hurtful or harsh towards you, but maybe they have a tendency when they're frustrated or angry, they just don't talk at all. Um, which that could in itself hurt your feelings. Maybe they know that you may have expressed this to them and they, maybe they didn't understand before why it bothered you so much. But now they're starting to see things from your point of view and understand that, um, part of a relationship is, or an important part of a relationship is communication. And working together. All right. So we have Sagittarius. We have Virgo. We have Aquarius with the 11th house. And we have Libra with the 7th house. I'm seeing Dion. I'm hearing Dee Dee. I'm 
We, okay, so we have D I D E E O. So Eddie, so Edward, X R. Seeing Roxy T R. We had a G, we would have regret. O. Someone's uh, nickname, maybe Trixie. We have kind of viewers from Ontario. We have O, we have C. And blank. Connor. Connie. Of Carrie. Hmm. I'm seeing, uh, I'm seeing the word like, Corona. So one, that could be like their favorite drink. Two, we also have video chat. So during, you know, 2020 times, um, the two of you may have been doing a lot of video chatting. I'm saying read. Could have Rhonda. I'm seeing the word cried. All right. I think I'm going to leave it there. So that is what I have for you, group three. Thank you so much for watching. I'm wishing you guys all the best, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.